Let's look at OpenStax University Physics Volume 2, Chapter 6, Problem 22. Find the electric flux through a rectangular area, 3 cm by 2 cm, between two parallel plates where there is a constant electric field of 30 newtons per coulomb for the following orientations of the area. A. Parallel to the plates, B. Perpendicular to the plates, and C. The normal to the area, making a 30 degree angle with the direction of the electric field. Note that this angle can also be given as 180 degrees plus 30 degrees. All right, so let's write down the things that we know. I've already drawn the diagram. So we know that the area of that rectangular piece is 6 square centimeters, which is 6 times 10 to the negative 4 square meters. And we know that the electric field is... 30 newtons per coulomb and in part a we want the flux when the angle between the area vector and the electric field is zero in b we want the flux where the area vector is perpendicular to um, the electric field and in part c we want the flux when the angle between the area vector and the electric field is 30 degrees. So this is part A here, part B, and part C. So I already explained what all these orientations in here are. Um, I said that the angle theta is 0 degrees in part A. So we're told that this rectangle is parallel to these plates. So that means that the area vector is going to be parallel to the electric field. I guess I should label these, so this is the electric field, and this is the area vector. All right, so, so in part A, the area vector is parallel to the electric field. In part B, the area vector is perpendicular to the electric field, and in part C, we have an angle that the area vector makes with the electric field. So we know that the equation for the electric flux is E A cosine of the angle between the electric field and the area vector. So then in part A, the flux is the electric field times the area times cosine of the angle between the area vector and the electric field, and since they're parallel, the angle is zero. So this will just be 30 times 6 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2 newton meter squared per coulomb. So that is the flux for part A. In part B, the angle between the area vector and the um, electric field is 90 degrees. So then we have flux is E A cosine 90 degrees and cosine 90 is 0 so the flux for part B is 0. In part C the angle between the area vector and the electric field is 30 degrees so we have flux is electric field times area times cosine 30 degrees so that is 30 newtons per coulomb times 6 times 10 to the negative 4 square meters cosine 30 degrees and that gives us 1.6 times 10 to the negative second newton meter squared per coulomb. So here is the flux.